Well, hello, and welcome back, YouTube peeps, to more Hearts of Iron, Old World Blues, The Lost Expedition. Uh, in between, sh well, we're playing as the Baggers, The Lost Expedition, and we're currently at war with the Luminous Ones, a group of ghouls that hate all humanity. Uh, while we were in between recordings, Tyrant King realized what we're seeing here is not the same tech tree they're using, or focus tree. See, two different mods currently are affecting the Iron Alliance, and what has occurred is we are being shown one focus tree while they are actually doing the other focus tree that is invisible to us, so that's, that's funny. But it means they might be a threat sooner than we expected. Um... Oh god, can one of you move over here to play defensive on that? Quickly. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, yep, everybody's pushing in different directions now. We got our reference manuals done. For our secret coded language to communicate with during battles. Um, let's... I think I want to start dipping a little bit down. Um, do you want to do conventional warfare? I think we're going to do the conventional warfare path. The ghoul, you hope that ghouls on our east side can hold back the Iron Alliance? Yeah, because they're going to be trying to push in on us. We need to be ready for the threat of those raiders. Come on. Especially if we want to go and save that Zax ASAP. Speaking of which, how long, much longer does Zax have, according to our estimations? 519 days. Just under two years. Okay, we're advancing well. Okay, we got another troop ready. Nice, nice. You go join the front line, bud. Got it. There we go. It's so hard to get the zoom exactly where I want it. Yeah, the ghouls. Oh my god, they're losing fast. The raiders who take, uh, re uh, take refuge just outside our borders have sent us a simple message. Pay tribute or die. Hmm. I like the artwork there. We're gonna pay tribute to them for now. Um. What's our decision that's available? We got. Okay. I mean, first of all, we're not going to turn away refugees, but we're also not going to waste time on a national assimilation drive. Uh, more propaganda. I feel like that's going to be a good thing for us to do, although... This one's definitely better to do right now, seize the patriotism. Okay, there we go. We've taken that city. Now we gotta push in on Red Mountain. Hello. You push against there. Ooh, ooh. What's happening? God, so many of these events and they crop up lag the game a little bit. Crusher's army is doing stuff down in Texas. Not our business. Oh! I just realized I was never able to show this off during the last run because the update came out midway through the run. But we now have the additional maps section. If we can get that to load. Come on. It takes a, a moment to load it up. 
It's really fucking cool, though. Ugh. Sorry, just stretching a little. Ugh. <sighs> Make pop cat sounds in the meantime. Oh, I probably should have waited for it in between videos to try and load this. Bum 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 ba -da -dum, ba -da. Those pool goals under the band of those power armor using Iron Alliance rebels. Yeah. Yeah, so this map mode I think is pretty fucking cool. Uh, let's keep it focused on our general area. So you can see, it's showing every single nation and the territory they control. Why is that any different than what we normally see? Well, we can show how if many factories they got going, the stability of their regions, how much war support they have. You can see we're not too great. Um, their caps income. How close they are, or what states they have cord and not cord. Um, and, hang on. Claims they have made, but my favorite is the diplomatic range. This is sort of telling you who is likely to have influence on you with decisions they make, I believe. Um, I don't know exactly what to, what it to, to or what it determines, but... I kind of love it visually because, like, it almost in my brain aids the roleplay. It tells us who our people think about on a daily basis as close to us, as threats to us. So, yeah, I'm actually surprised. Or actually, that's not too surprising knowing that these guys are part of it. You know, so. All of this stuff is what's important to us, but honestly, Robot City is so far away from us in terms of, like, what's. Like, what other threats there are to deal with that. We, our people don't care about Robot City right now. It's just, you know, whatever. Sure, there's a Robot City to the east. Who cares? Alright, come on. I got another loading thing. There we go. Okay, we've taken that territory. Now we're going to pinch in on this and use that as our strength to take Red Mountain. Volunteer. Oh, that's where we can get volunteer forces from? Okay. Oh god, the Iron Alliance won one of their two wars. Okay. Alright, guys, try and push in on taking that. They demand tribute. Give them what they ask for. We can't... We can't worry about upsetting them right now. Wait, what is that about the Iron Lines? What'd they just do? Oh, I wasn't paying enough attention. I instinctively clicked it away because I'm not used to all Iron Lines not being important to us. Like in all my other playthroughs. Okay. We've almost got Red Mountain. It's just about that... It's about that final push. Honestly, man, just... Go. We take it? The game just slowed down a little bit. Oh, the Civil War broke out somewhere. We're estimating a victory in 12 days. Come on. Now it limits what nations can send you volunteer forces. Okay, that's good to know. Come on. Two days. Okay. Yes! That should be the war done. We claimed Red Mountain. Okay. Um, alright, for now, we're gonna let our guys rest on over here as a front line. Just in case something happens. But now we have a decision to make. One or the other. Code of Purity. 
<clears throat> uh, who's winning the Viper Ranger War? We'll look at that in a bit. <laughs> the ghouls are a threat. We already learned this. As the luminum wa luminous ones constantly raided day in and day out for years on end. Because of that, a high portion of our soldiers got addicted to Rataway as the only thing that kept them alive in the field. While we're not planning on exterminating the Rotters, we'll most likely ignore them for greater pic or for the greater picture at this time. Or Code of Unity. We might always have had problems with the glowing ones in the West, but if we want to make any progress, we'll have to find some way to get along with them. Ghouls are quite useful after all, especially when it comes to working in the heavily irradiated areas. And you know, ghouls are just people. That's what we're gonna do. I feel like I would have picked that no matter what. Like, like I can't bring it to. I can't have. Or, I don't have the heart to hate ghouls. Um, over here. Oh, the vipers got defeated. Okay. They they put up a fight, but they didn't win. Okay, let's have our army chill. How big is their army? Okay, five to ten. Hmm, that's scary. <laughs> All right, come on. New Reno declared war on the Yakuza. <sighs> we can't let the ramblings of one deranged ghoul that spell er, spell a negative light on an entire race of people. There have been more than enough evil humans, as we've seen. So, and we don't judge all humans as evil because of them. Alright. Um. Oh! Okay, yeah, Code of Unity's about to be done. So, accept the ghouls as equals found, ghoul t the first ghoul town, or ghoul scavenging teams. So I'm just skimming real quick to pick which one I want. We're gonna go with Boulder's dry glowing bones have been picked uh, over for several re re retrievable technologies and rare old world resources. But in an area so irradiated, our medical stockpile and protective gear wouldn't be enough to get at them. Luckily, our new friends don't share that concern. Uh, is there ever a Road to Boulder. Okay, that's what I want to try and work my way toward. Ro so, Road to Boulder is the decision that starts to... War goals on the Wither Dogs. Ooh. Boss, send manual war goal on the Iron Alliance. We need to strike them while they're at them while they're weak. But we're kind of weaker than them! 5 to 10. I'll take your advice. Uh, Scott's Bluff. Adelwood. We're gonna try and demand New Sterling itself. We need three more political power. The government ideal, Sergeant Larson, has been removed. Okay, yeah, Sergeant Larson left us. Whatever, he's a drug addict anyway.
Uh, we got a research to do. Scrap bots! The equivalent of industrial machinery. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We got scrap bots being researched. Okay. New Sterling. We're got we're de demanding the heart of their nation. Yeah. How long will it take us to have that war goal ready? Um fuck where but up but up but up but up um There we go. 220 days, just under a year. Do you want them gathering str yeah. We gotta strike now and help our armies ready. God, this is a fucking risk and a half. Oh, let's start drawing a battle plan up real fast. I mean, stage one is definitely just gonna be... Take that. Stage two will then be... To take all of this. Stage 3 is going to be to aim right for their fucking heart. And then the last stage is going to be to just push for that. Oh, hold on. The fucking way drew them is weird. Oop, phone alarm going off. Expect another one of those in five minutes and then another one five minutes from then because that's how I do my alarm. <laughs> yeah, like this. And then after that, just a full on loop around. Loop. There we go. Loop around the city. And then, oops. Push for that city however you see fit. Alamo chapter, blah blah blah. Oh, I don't like the look of them amassing an army on our border. I mean, they're neutral to us, so... Boss, when you get the unit tech, start mass training ghoul troops. Do we have- we can't do ghoul troops yet? Okay. Ghoul scavenging teams. And basic smelteries already. Let's get better construction going. Um, and let's get ghoul towns built. Nerve wracking. And three focuses you can start? Okay. Yeah. Alright, we got an eighth soldier. Honestly, I think I think we've got a big enough army to be able to- Oh! <gasps> They've got power armor. They've got power armor troops. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'll, but in theory, I think we're gonna have the numbers game on them just about. And that might be what can win us this battle. Right. Sorry, I must have uh, forgotten it or missed it when you mentioned it. Uh, honestly, we should start investing into better weaponry soon. What do you all got y'all explanation looks about? Oh, yeah, they... Come on. Your power armored raiders, yep. 220 more days, or 220 days, we're 40 in. Okay, we got the towns for the ghouls. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't read this aloud before, did I? Given all the fighting we've done since we arrived in Colorado, we cannot expect the people to readily accept the ghouls as equal citizens. 
until people's attitudes change, we will found a strictly only ghoul settlement, the ghoul town. Voluntary separatism isn't for the long-term answer, but it can be a temporary solution. Uh, that is why you say kill them as soon as possible, yeah. Back in the NCR proper, there is a general political acceptance of ghouls and, and intelligent mutants, which is quite progressive stance around here. Between half-feral glowers and bigots in the south, things around here aren't usually so civil. Providing ghouls with the same rights and responsibilities as other citizens would make us uh, would make the local government or er, would make us the local ghoul haven, with all the benefits that come with that. So yeah, that's going. So we're gonna start allowing ghouls into our territory. So what I like to think is like we pushed in, killed the extremist guy, then declared that they'd be equals, and we form we let them we told them like listen, all of you can stay in your cities, though we want to make a couple of bases around. So there's like a number of eb embassies and military bases scattered around in their territory. Meanwhile, in our territory, in more radioactive areas, we've started building ghoul cities. Oh, they are they're just they're getting ready to declare war on us anyway, aren't they? Yep. Alright. Let's just say when you played them, you tore through the bag. Was... And we'll have one more alarm in five more minutes. Alright. Oh, they declared war on the Wither Dogs. <gasps> that. Oh no. That might complicate things. But also, it might be exactly the distraction we need. If they can push through into that territory, we can then push down here and leave them a little bit fucked. Like, they're cut off from all their allies. This song is very not fallout -y. Okay, come on. I'm actually nervous. Like, this is either gonna end this run or win it for us. And I don't have a backup save because I didn't think to make one. Alright, come on. Boss, the dog's military access. Can we give them military access? No, they won't accept it. Yeah, I figured they wouldn't. Most people don't accept that. Um, what's this about? Building ghoul tent. Oh! Hang on, that's a decision we can make here now? Oh, we're never gonna save Zax in time, are we? Okay, once we're at war, they'll accept. The western region of Colorado, or, based on claims uh, some older ghouls, southern Wyoming, are quite uh, scarcely populated. These, uh, uh, this makes it perfect place for establishing ghoul colonies, with the necessary first step uh, uh, if our population uh, policies are to be successful. Building a ghoul town. Ghoul Town is a great success. We easily gathered up uh, settlers for our colonies in the old Red Mountain region. The basic necessities of life have already been established in the brave pi or by the ba brave pioneers, but it could use more ghouls. A little extra funding and building churches for the more popular ghoul religions, like the Children of the Wastes and the Church of the Lost, will do the trick. All right. So wait, is it? Yeah, it's now called Ghoul Town. Awesome. I don't think we're gonna be able to go and save Ga Zax in time, sadly. All right, come on. 
There we go, ghouls are accepted as equals automatically to, to, to all of our decisions. Different skins, same goals. Boulder Dome cast its light into over all of Colorado, lowering the glowing ghouls to itself like moths to a flame. Everybody wants to get in. And while we used to look at each other as, as competition, it was a waste of potential. To achieve the same goal, all parties could easily set aside their differences for now. We are all the same, and we will survive together! Colorado will unite! Ghoul or man! Alright, um... Let's do more construct- no, uh, hang on. Oh, we can't do power armor research. Let's do this, because this means we'll train people faster. How much longer until we can go to war? I'm nervous. Noivous. Vacuum tubes. Alright, let's go ahead now and research. Cir simple circuitry. The Iron Alliance is going to be the biggest threat to us for a while, so if we can take them out, we'll be, f we'll be safe for quite some time, I think. Conventional warfare. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and do battle plans. Boss, as soon as you can, get those troops rushing to victory points. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to, I think, send some troops down to surround this guy. And, like, cut him off from all of his allies so that he can be killed quickly through, with us and the Wither Dogs working at them. Uh, meanwhile, a couple of troops are going to hold these, pin these guys in place while more try and push deeper into the enemy territory. Honestly, hang on. How long would it take for us to train a single one of these? Because just one of these guys can make a huge difference to the war effort. What's nice is we're no longer low on scrap. Well, speaking of which, we are now building things, okay. Come on. Yeah, so we're gonna send some guys from Sydney down to surround this power armor platoon. Okay, we can get ghoul paratroopers now. You were saying to beeline training them, so we're gonna do exactly that. Um, but that means we're missing spec ops equipment production, so let's get that going. Let's get everybody into the army. Okay. That's good. That dude, that puts us in much better shape for the upcoming battle. <laughs> what will this do for us? Grant claims and war goals for the Wither Dogs core territory. Let's hold off on doing that for now. And for now, let's go ahead and... Are those territories cored automatically? They are not. Um. Oh, actually, that means I should fucking hang on. Um. Let's address that, huh? Uh, we're going to use. Yeah. Normal garrisons, but we're going to go ahead with wasteland pacification. Oh, we, we don't have the manpower to do that method, do we? I'm so used to, again, so used to playing stronger nations than this. Let's go ahead with 
road patrols instead. Quick, unrelated question. Have you played the Runeterra story mission yet? I have not. Alright, hang on. Don't, that will piss them off. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to try and attack the Wither Dogs yet, or do anything against the Wither Dogs. Um, let's... Let's go with army training boost for now. Okay. Come on. Yeah, we've got a much larger army now. We'll be way better shape once we start the battle. Which, you know what? It's about 100 days away. We'll go to that battle. Hang on. Next time. I don't know if we're going to be able to get out, get through this fight to go and save Zax in time. The Ironmongers might have uh, been too much of a distraction for us, sadly. Or the Ironmonger, the, you know, the, whatever they are. I'm looking, I'm enjoying the start of this new series. I'm upset the vault Tech run had to end, but this one has some potential for some fun roleplay. We're going to wrap that up for now. Uh, I hope you've all been enjoying this. Those of you on Twitch, keep an eye out for... Uh, I always make announcements here on Tumblr and in the Discord when I go live. And those of you on YouTube, come back next week for more of this. That's... Ooh, ooh, I'm excited to see where this goes. I'll see y'all later. Ta-ta!